There's no real substitute for pen and paper when you're learning, but these days kids need to grow up understanding how to use digital notebooks and sketch pads as well, or they could be left behind. For artistic impulses and jotting down notes, Paper by 53 is a great example of what's available for iOS. I'll confess I don't normally take the time to read the instructions when I try a new app out, so I was a little bit lost with Paper to begin with, but once I rewound and discovered the pinch and swipe peculiarities of interfacing with this app, I found it extremely elegant and intuitive. For arty Android users, there are a few choices too. I like Artflow, as it has a huge selection of brushes and tools. You can even export to a Photoshop file to work on a sketch in more detail later on. And it has a nifty feature called palm rejection, so you won't accidentally zoom in resting your hand on the screen. The basic features are free with in-app purchases for the more detailed stuff. And if your Android already has a stylus, you won't need to shell out for that extra too. There are lots of great examples of apps created by kids. I love this iPhone app by a seven-year-old called Leah and her dad Erwin. Mini Hug, which helps parents monitor how much quality time they're spending away from their technology playing with their children. Everybody wants to be a genius. Apps can also be a great way to teach kids, and this week the Staffordshire Police Force in the UK has launched a Flappy Bird style game called Cash Dash that aims to help young people understand how to stay safe online. If your mind needs further expansion, the legendary lectures of Nobel Prize winning physicist Richard Feynman are now all available free on the Feynman Lectures website in text form. If you prefer video, the Microsoft Tuva project has remastered seven of the great physicists' lectures filmed in the 1960s and presented them with annotations and links to further educational material. And the mathematicians, mathematically, we can write that great law down and the formula, some kind of a constant times the product of the two masses divided by the square of the distance.